So I come across an article entitled, If You Want People to Grow Spiritually, Quit Telling Them to Study the Bible. Now, obviously that title captured my attention. It piqued my interest and so I had to read it. And as I read it, I was like, yeah, man, this guy is making sense. And I noticed myself buying into this guy's argument because I trusted that as a Christian author, he had done his homework. I mean, he made comments like, the Bible says almost nothing about studying the Bible. And if you don't believe me, do a quick word search on the words study, delight, meditate, and obey. And you'll be as shocked as I was. Then he said, the issue isn't that we need to learn more Bible. The problem is that a lot of us know quite a bit of the Bible, but we don't enjoy it and let it soak in. And so we forget it or we don't apply it. At that comment, he had me hook, line, and sinker. I was reminded of a sermon that I listened to by Charles Stanley years ago. And Charles said, we don't need another Bible study, another Sunday school lesson, or another Sunday sermon. We just need to start doing what we already know. And so this author, he had me. And he went on to say that the emphasis of scripture is on meditating, delighting, and obeying. And to close out, he said, most people hate to study, citing Ecclesiastes 12, 12, which says that, that much study wearies the body. Boom, author had me. And I thought to myself, this is on target. This is, this is right up my alley and it's right up somebody else's alley also. So I need to do a video on it, but listen to this. The more I studied, the more I disagreed. And here's why, accurate biblical truth. If accurate biblical truth in 10 minutes or less is important to you, be sure to subscribe to this channel because that's what I deliver video after video. One text the author cited was 2 Timothy 2.15. In that, he points out that the King James Version is a poor translation of the original Greek. I agreed with him. You see, the King James Version says, study to show thyself approved of God. All other translations render this word study as be diligent or do your best, or to make every effort. So the basis of the author's argument was this, yet he failed to note the purpose of this diligence. The purpose is extremely important when it comes to the subject of study. You see, we're not, we're not diligent and we don't make every effort and, and we don't do our very best so that we can one-up others or to, to puff up our own ego we are diligent, we do our best, we make every effort, we study to be approved of God, a workman who doesn't need to be ashamed. And it's not that, that God approves us based on our performance, but he approves us based on our diligence to study his word. This is what Paul said in Galatians chapter one. He said, am I now trying to win the approval of men or of God? Or am I trying to please men? If I were still trying to please men, I wouldn't be a servant of Christ. So the idea is not studying for the sake of studying, but rather that when we present ourselves for inspection, we will be approved by God. You see that, that word approved, which the author failed to note, literally means to pass careful scrutiny and to be counted worthy and to not be ashamed. Man, that's. That's what I want, and that's what I want for you, to be approved of God. I, I, want him, I want him to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. And you know the only reason that he would ever say that to me or to ever say that to you is because we were diligent, because we studied, because we soaked in the word and we allowed the word of God to change us and transform us from the inside out. Paul also said to the church at Thessalonica that just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel, so we speak. Not to please man, but to please God. So yeah, I do agree with the author that we need to ponder, we need to meditate, we need to delight in, and we need to obey the word. We do. These are significant and vital to our spiritual growth. But I think those habits, those disciplines, they flow out of our study. So as a pastor, as your friend, I'm gonna to continue to teach, I'm gonna to continue to preach, and I'm gonna to continue to encourage you to study your Bible so that when you stand before God, he'll be pleased and he will say, well done. Now listen, 
I really don't think the author of that article really believes that we should stop studying the Bible. I think and believe that he would say it's significant and vital to our spiritual growth, but not to make that the, the only thing that we do. The emphasis for this author was that, that we also need to meditate on scripture, ponder scripture, obey scripture. I think the author would agree that those habits come out of our time of study. God bless.